Hey there, I'm Chris. I live in Las Vegas and I absolutely love gear. And as much as I love gear, I also love Christmas and Christmas carols. So today I thought I'd do a little music theory on the rudimentary writing styles that are in Christmas carols. Now I have picking, I picked several Christmas carols to uh, show as examples on how some can be actually pretty complex and some could be pretty darn easy to get through. Now, music theory. What is music theory? Music theory is the study of music, not only how it's composed, how it's written, but the mechanics of it, how you count out each and every measure, how you learn how to read music, how you learn how to write in different keys. All of these different things are part of music theory. So what I'm going to do is break down a couple of Christmas carols and show you how similar they are and how um, easy they are to play. So I've picked a good three that all seem to have the same writing style applied to them. And I hope you can see the examples as I set them out for you. So I'm gonna pick three different carols for you and I'm gonna play them for you and we're going to dissect them together. Now, first ones first, Joy to the World. Pretty basic, pretty simple. Everybody knows Joy to the World. The second one, Away in a Manger. Way in a major, and the last one, let's see. What child is this? Okay, now can you hear it already? What they all have in common, what is similar between all of them? Well, just in case you haven't figured it out, the opening melody of each and every one of those songs is all separated by one steps, first steps. As in, when you count in a musical scale, you count up one through seven in a musical scale. So, in a major, in a major key, you have seven notes that descend up, ascend and descend, and that makes your major scale. So, each and every one of those notes are called a step, and each and every one of those steps are separated. So, in a major key, you have seven notes that ascend and descend on those first steps. So, each and every one of those songs are created around those first steps. So, what we have here is a major scale in the key of C. A major scale. So with the major scale, you count up on steps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now, if we play the melody for Joy to the World, you'll notice that the melody walks down in one steps. So, joy to the world, the Lord, is come one steps so here's a major chord a major c scale and here's joy to the world joy to the world the lord has come one steps now what's really funny away in a manger 
Away in the major, I have it in the key of E, so... The key of E. Now, with Joy to the World, you walk down the entire scale from the number one. So, one, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, again. So, in Away in the Manger, you start off on number five. Number five, one, two, three, four, five. Away in a Manger. So you start off on the fifth position and you keep walking down each and every note in the scale back to five. Again, a beautiful Christmas carol, but written so incredibly simply with one steps. So the key of E. Away in a manger. And simple. Now one more. Now it skips just three notes, but it is still a very simple melody that is all written on one steps, maybe one or two steps skip. So what child is this? It skipped maybe one or two notes, but you can see my point. It was in the key of E minor. The key of E minor, and it only played in that same key only one or two steps apart. So let's one more time. Again, only one or two steps separated, but it's the same principle. By the way, today the gear I'm using today is a Suzuki Digital Grand Ensemble HG500. That's a mouthful. Let's scope it. Suzuki, minus the K, Digital Grand Ensemble HG500. What are all the features in this guy? I honestly couldn't tell you them all. I've looked for the manual online over and over again. I can't quite find it. I can't tell you all of the features it has, but I could tell you it has MIDI. I could tell you it has in and out audio. I could tell you that you can use auxiliary audio and plug in another instrument into this guy and use it as an amplifier. Um, I could tell you that this thing can record. You could record beats and sounds and music um, in real time and play it back. So maybe I will show you that as we go over these three beautiful carols one more time. Okay. Joy to the world, the Lord has come. Now remember, only it go, it walks down, it descends on one steps. So, joy to the world, the Lord has come. One steps. Again. Joy to the world, the Lord has come. And I could play back what I recorded, right? Pretty darn nifty. So, away in a manger. Away in a manger. 
major. Almost like magic. Again, the intervals, single step intervals. The last one, what child is this? Single step intervals, but one or two skip steps. So, cause you have to give a little leeway for melody, but what child is this? Pretty, pretty. So, I hope everybody's staying safe and happy and healthy out there. I hope you're all looking out for one another. Um, hugs, health, happiness, and of course, happy holidays from Las Vegas, Nevada.